we were on the sites in January. But today we are here to work on the secondary tank and we are there to change both membranes, netting and all strap system. Literally, we taking everything down, leaving just naked tank and we're gonna dress it back and make it beautiful again. get into today's video we wanted to give a shout out to one of our sponsor gas data able to detect gas leak from 100 meters meaning it's safer than any other gas leak detection tool available on the market the tool is equipped with laser powered sight showing you where you are targeting the device giving you an accurate reading where the leak is coming from gazoscan has an instant response time of 0.1 seconds there is no waiting around simply get it out of the box power it on and get the result. And if you think that was impressive, Gazos can, can even measure a gas leak through the window of your car. Let me show you how it's done. So all what you need to do is remove your coating indicator from the box, apply it to the window you wish to scan through. The indicator will show you the type of the coating applied. If there is no coating, you'll be able to point the laser at the target area and see if there's a leak. We removed both membranes uh, and now our team is working on to getting the sulfide netting off the tank because the tank is so huge and there's a lot of split parts of the netting and it's damaged and needs to be replaced. They're heavy, they're full of sulfide. So we, we're trying to get all of the netting onto the middle column and, that, and from that point just taking it around and take it down because it's way too big to, to take it from one place and take it down because otherwise it's split in the parts. doing really well. All the netting, as you can see, is on the middle column waiting for the tipper to arrive. The once tipper will be here, we're gonna take all of that and gonna put it in the tipper. Everything is going smooth by our plan. After that one is in the tipper and tipper goes away, we're gonna start to get all of the original straps away from the supports. So we can take them all away as well and put them in a the tipper when it comes back. And then from that point, we're gonna start to clean up all the supports and we're gonna start to install new strapping system with the, 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 the hat which comes on top of the middle column as well. So guys, we are as far as you can see behind us. We literally cut all the straps off. There is a couple of straps, straps still attached to the wall, which our team is taking off right now. The ones that is done, we're taking the cap from the middle column together with all the attached straps away from the middle column, put it onto the ground or in the tip of where we put in the sulfide netting in. And the new one gonna come in the same way back on the middle, on the top of the middle column. And then we're gonna get the new ones away from the middle column, away to the walls. So far we are right now guys, we've got our strapping system, the new one on top of the middle column. They all running down to the concrete wall and that's the place where all the supports for them are attached. Now, as you can see, most of the tank has been done. They're in place, but they're not right tightened it up to the right tightness, uh, if you like. Uh, all of the lads are on the other side of the tank. They're working on the last ones to get them through, and then they're gonna start to get them tight one by one. The whole purpose for the strapping system is just to be security for both membranes. What happens after strapping, there is netting coming on the top of strap system and on top of the netting there is both membranes if 
site is losing electricity, for example, or they losing gas, one or the both membranes going to drop down onto those straps. But of course, there will be netting in between, which is going to protect both membranes to go in between, so they don't touch uh, digestate, which is inside the tank. Hey, my name is Yanis D. I'm the senior manager of construction crew company and I would like to let you know how far we are currently. Let's go! So last what you saw it was we did put the straps on, we did tighten that up and put the net on. Now as you can see we have the gas membrane in position already placed and we have the weather membrane on top of it. As you can see, we have both membranes fixed in the correct position. Now the next one will be to install the skirting. Once the skirting is installed, we're going to put the plates on, bolt them down to secure the roof, and then the roof will be ready for final inspection. Once the final inspections are done on that roof, we'll inflate the roof. Once it's inflated, the work will be completed and all guys will be on to the next project. Let me show you how we turn food waste into this. First things first, this is how the food waste from your home arrives here to the biogas facility. The once truck arrives on this site, that's the storage building where the biological food waste is being kept. And from there it goes to the tank to start biological process. So this is the tank where the food waste comes in, gets blended all together, kept in a certain temperature to help biological process to work exactly as it needs. Then the biological process, when it works, it produces biogas right under these membranes, which you can see on this tank. Basically, biological process produces a lot of gas kept under that. And from here, we send it into the national grid and national grid makes sure that you receive that gas at your home and you can run all of your gas appliances. 